All right, now, so in this episode, we'll be going over the MOSI beds. At a minimum, there'll be at least two MOSI beds at your gas plant. Um, the MOSI bed is just a dehydrator. Now, a MOSI bed is usually located after the amine system. Remember, amine is 50% uh, amine, 50% water, usually MDEA. If you don't understand the amine, please go watch my earlier video on the amine. Um, it pretty much takes the same stance as the glycol. We're still trying to dry out this gas, right? We want the gas to be as dry as possible. No liquid inside of the gas. We want pure gas. Um, what's interesting about the MOSI dehydrators is that the flow is reversed. So if you think back to the uh, inlet scrubber or the amine contactor, glycol contactor, uh, the gas really comes in from the bottom and goes out to the top. So on the MOSI beds, the gas comes from the top and flows down to the bottom as it makes contacts with the sieve. Sieve. Sieve is, uh, it's usually about A4. I don't want to get into too much technical, technical gobbledygook with you because this is just the basic course and I want to get the picture in your head of what it actually does. So the gas flows downward comes from the top and flows downward and to dry out the gas uh, the mostly bed is usually heated to really soak up all of the liquid that is inside of the gas um, usually about 450 to 500 degrees uh, once again there's a minimum of two uh, when one is being heated the other is in uh, region meaning it is cooling down uh, soaking out all that water from the sieve. The sieve that you would usually have at most gas plants is an A4. And what A4 really means is, uh, a, what, excuse me, not A4, 4A really means is the pores are four angstroms. Angstroms across. One angstrom is about one tenth billionth of a meter. So if you think about the tip of your pen, that is about one tenth of a billion. You can get a, a good uh, idea about the size of the sieve that you'll be using in your mold sieve beds. So, once again, basic idea: the mold sieve is just a dehydrator, trying to get all that liquid out of the gas before it goes out to its next process of the cryo. After the mold sieve beds, you have a dust filter, and what the dust filter is truly the same way, just drying out the gas before it makes it to the cryo. And the cryo, which is another monster within itself, you'll start to understand why we don't want any type of liquid inside of the gas.